Uh, I know a lot of people, young girl in need of service dog asks for community's help. This is about a young girl, I believe she has ADHD and autism spectrum disorder, and she is looking to get a dog, I believe from Four Paws for Ability, um, and they're doing fundraising because you need to fundraise. I believe their minimum to get in for fundraising is $17,000. And um, this is their story. So let's learn more about this young girl in need of a service dog. That four girl is hoping she will soon have her very own service dog to help her deal with disabilities that she's been living with for most of her life. So Ashley, you met this little girl today to tell us how this dog would change her life. You know, Trisha, simply going to a restaurant or a grocery store is a difficult task for this 11-year-old Isabella Thacker. She has ADHD and autism, but a special and very expensive four-legged friend could make everyday tasks much easier, not only for Isabella, but her entire family. Not everybody likes kisses. I like kisses. Yeah. 11-year-old Isabella Thacker is hoping she will soon have a service dog like this that will not only give her kisses anytime she wants, but also help her live with a disability. How do you think that's going to help you? <laughs> I'll have a friend. I look at it as she just thinks differently. There, there isn't anything wrong with her or anything like that. She just her brain just works differently. Isabella was diagnosed with ADHD when she was six and autism about a year and a half ago. Her mom says this year has been especially difficult as Isabella went from elementary school to Harrison Junior School. She's had a very difficult time socializing with other children, making friends, things like that. Um, so we started looking into coping uh, mechanisms for her. That's when they learned about Four Paws for Ability, a nonprofit that trains service dogs. They learned how to Break, up, break their arms away from their face if they're hitting themselves or pulling their hair. Um, if they're having a panic attack, they can do behavior disruption by laying over their legs. But a dog like Antigua is not cheap. The backers must pay $17,000 of their own money on top of more than 20000 coming from Four Paws. But thanks to an anonymous donor, the backers will only need to come up with half of the 17000 Because of the financial strain and not knowing if they will raise that amount of money, Megan didn't want to tell Isabella about the dog until today. That's Megan pretty cool. To go everywhere with you. School, <laughs> really? the airport, the grocery store, everywhere. Wow! Isabella Aww, is already so excited cute. at the prospect of having her very own service animal and friend. It's really sad to see her coming home upset because why won't anybody be my friend? Sit. Oh, look at that. She <laughs> Good girl. And I really think a service dog will be that bridge that will really get her where she needs to be. And if I don't have it, then I will be sad. If you Aww. would like to donate for Isabella to get a service dog through for... I, if I don't have it, I hope if I don't get it, I'll be sad. Aww. I'm sure, I'm sure Isabella would be very sad. Um, so let's see, you can directly be, make a donation to Four Paws on their website. Um, I think that's it. Four Paws for Ability. Here. I think what they do, oh, there we go. Mightycause.com. That's what I haven't heard of yet. I know of um, Kickstarter and what's the other popular fundraising one? Oh, wow, look, they made their goal over by $250, and they have two months left. That's awesome. See, and this is the thing, right? So for anybody who is raising funds for their service dog, it is so possible, right? How long ago did this story come out? January 21st. It's three days later, guys, and they reached more than their goal before their end, and they had that wonderful news story. You know, it's just like when I was talking with Eli's parents and raising funds for their service dog. Their goal was $20,000, $25,000, and they had $15,000 donated by an anonymous donor through a check, through a check. It's so possible. You, and you ha it's really possible if you treat it as a full-time job. Because if you can't treat fundraising as a full-time job, what makes you think you can go and train your service dog, which is pretty much a full-time job, right? 
So um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. 100%. Aw. Aw. <laughs> Aw. Thank you, Facebook users. Uh, I've been paying everything myself so far, collecting empties since last May. Empties. Empty what? Empty what? But you know, it, you can do it. It can happen. You need the chutzpah. You need to treat it as if you're working 40 hours a week for this, right? Um, but it's totally possible. It's 100% possible. And I know a lot of people feel uncomfortable about fundraising. I'm trying to think here. I have. That's good. No, that's good. Hold up. I have a book recommendation. It's not directly related about fundraising, but here, let me make myself bigger so you guys can see. Be right back. Hold up. Let me grab my book. Let me grab my book. Okay. This is a good general book about how people su achieve success, whether that's in business, whether that's in fundraising, whether that's in having some sort of dream that you want to work towards. Maybe you want to know Oprah, right? Maybe you want to know Oprah. Um, oh, hey, Dave's here. Awesome. Nice to see you. Um, this is a recommendation. This is a book that I would recommend to get started on. Now, a lot of the things in this book you can't do necessarily these days um, or you want to reduce how often you're doing those kinds of things like going out for brunch in a closed location <laughs> right um, but this is about building relationships maintaining those relationships leveraging what you can give people and how we can be reciprocal and build like build good, strong standing relationships. And I also feel like me sometimes, you know, the, depression has a lot of causes, whether it's nutrition, whether it's, you know, lack of being social. I know whenever I get depressed, it's usually is quickly reversed when I can somehow reach out to people and start being human again, right? And of course that's harder in COVID, um, but you know, book recommendation you haven't read it or it's also available on audible if you're more for listening but i would definitely recommend this book i am only about halfway through but i am enjoying every minute so far okay so um if you are fundraising this can help get you inspired on what you can do to help reach your goals okay Oh, got you. Cans, bottles, anything that has a deposit or can be returned, turned in for cash. Yeah. Can't bring yourself to create a GoFundMe. My daughter's puppy has already cost me 5000 and she's only seven months old. Start with that book. Get some inspiration. That's what I can tell you. Start with it. Get some inspiration. And once you start, the, the, the prerequisite to action and being comfortable with something is you have to think about it. You have to play with ideas in your mind. You have to consider it for a prolonged period of time, especially if you're scared about it, right? You have to start thinking about it and start maybe even talking with people on the internet about it to get more comfortable with it. Because obviously, if you can't just bring yourself to it, you have more work to do in your own head to get you there. I hope that makes sense. Okay.